Let's talk about times that Sonic the Hedgehog appeared in other games. Make sure to subscribe to the channel with all notifications. I'll give you a second. And let's get into it. Did you know that Sonic the Hedgehog appeared in the first ever NBA 2K game? The NBA 2K games used to be some of my favorite games of all time. And you know, over the last couple years, they've had some up and down releases. It's been a little bit mixed, but that's right. The original NBA 2K game featuring one of my favorite basketball players of all time, Allen Iverson on the cover, actually had Sonic in the game. Players can create a team called the Hedgehogs and the logo actually features Sonic holding a basketball and the home court has a giant Sonic textured onto the floor. If you look right here it's basically the sa1 sonic pose but he's kind of holding a basketball cropped in perfectly something i would probably make in photoshop i think the only thing that would be cooler is if sonic was playable in this game maybe not as good as the original shadow basketball game but nonetheless a very cool piece of history let's move on to the next one the next game on the list is choo choo rocket this was a puzzle game developed in 1999 by sonic team if you clear all 25 puzzles in the stage challenge mode normal choo choos can actually be replaced with chow so not quite sonic but definitely Definitely a Sonic reference. Let's move on to the next one. The next game where Sonic appears in is Jet Set Radio. This is an OG Sega franchise that has been dormant for several years, but it looks like in the coming years, we'll be getting some type of remake or reboot or something along those lines. But in this game, there are brief references to the Sonic franchise, of course. There is a billboard that features Sonic, but also you can tag graffiti of characters like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy Rose, Big the Cat, Eggman, and all the characters from Sonic Adventure because this is around the time that the game came out. And this is pretty dark, but it's been hinted. It's not like 100% confirmed that this skull right here on this necklace could actually be the skull of Sonic. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game on the list is surprisingly Spyro Year of the Dragon. This just feels like a time when video games are just a little bit better, you know what I mean? But in this game, there is a very brief reference to Sonic. In the level Crystal Islands, the character Moneybags will say he's a magician and will open the bridge behind him. If the player declines an offer, he will say that you shouldn't anger a magician and he just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. What's next? He might turn him into a red-hatted plumber? I don't know. Let's move on to the next game. Next game where Sonic has a cameo is called Derby Owners Club, which was released in 2000 and is for the arcade. It's an arcade horse racing simulator created by the Sega AM3 team. And in this game, there's a track called G1 Sega, and it has a large inflatable Sonic balloon on the center of the track, and it's surrounded by spinning rings. I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting Sonic model, but let's move on to the next one. Now, this next cameo is really out there, but it's also really interesting. So, Illbleed was a survival horror game that released for the Dream and if you look at this ugly monstrosity right here, his name is actually Zodic the Hellhog. Get it? Zodic the Hellhog kind of sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog. And if you look, he has golden rings that are all around the map that are scattered. Obviously, I mean, he kind of bears a resemblance to Sonic, but he's not one-to-one -one of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it gets a little bit more interesting. Again, when he takes damage, he will lose rings. Obviously, that's a reference to Sonic. But after his defeat, it is revealed that he is a robot, and one of the scientists controlling him in the game is voiced by Ryan Drum who was at the time the voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog and also you'll notice that he has like a spin dash like ability so clearly it's a play on Sonic clearly it's a cameo if you think about it in a way Zonic is basically like the OG Sonic.exe Maybe I went too far with that one. Let's move on to the next one. The next game that Sonic appears in is called Sega Gaga. And just wait for this, man. I mean, this one gets a little crazy. This is a role-playing simulation game in which players manage the affairs of a struggling video game company called Sega. I mean, this was around the time they stopped developing consoles. And only a couple years later, they started releasing games like Shadow 05 and Sonic 06. But all right, let's keep going. Sonic appears in this game with other Sega mascots, such as Alex Kidd and Amigo. And one of the possible tasks in the game is developing of a title called Sonic the Hedgehog. At one point in the game, Sonic appears with Tails in the air, and when he drops down, he takes the player on a wild run. He also appears when Alice Kidd was telling a story about being replaced by the Blue Hedgehog. At one point, the player also fights Sonic. It's pretty cool because if you think about it, the animation style does look very similar to Sonic X in some of those earlier scenes, kind of like that anime style, but this game is like a very self-referential game, but it's cool that Sonic actually appears in it. Let's move on to the next one. The next game where Sonic appears in is called called Alien Front Online. This was a Dreamcast game originally released for the console back in 2001, and in the game, players use armored vehicles to fight tense battles in large interactive arenas. It kind of has like that arcade vibe to it. This certainly feels nostalgic, but Sonic, of course, makes an appearance. That's why this game is in the video. If you look in the city level, you'll see some Sega Dreamcast advertisements, but also if you look right here, you see a billboard with a poster of Sonic, but also you'll see Sonic's name with some Yuji Yui Kawa artwork in the top left corner of the screen. 
Very cool. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game on the list is Beach Spikers. Beach Spikers was an all-girl volleyball game from AM2. The final stadium in the arcade mode features a giant Sonic statue with what looks like his SADX model. But who knew that Sonic loved volleyball so much? Also, if you notice where the referee is standing or sitting, you will see Sonic as like the sponsor or whatever with that signature Dreamcast artwork. Very cool. Let's move on to the next one. The next Sonic cameo is from Virtua Cop 3. This is the third iteration of AM2's popular light gun shooting series. If you guys have played arcade games back in the day, you know, where you point at the screen and shoot. These were probably some of the most fun games to play in the arcade, but Sonic actually appears in one of these games, and it's no surprise that he appears in a game that's developed by Sega. If you look in the tutorial stage, you will see in the bottom right corner of the screen a little bobble doll of Sonic the Hedgehog with his signature Dreamcast model. It's almost like at this point in time, any game that Sega could put Sonic in, even if it was just for a brief second, he would somehow make his way in. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game where Sonic has a cameo in is Shenmue 2. This was another Sega game that was for the Dreamcast and the Xbox back in 2001 and was obviously the sequel to Shenmue 1. In the last episode, we talked about how all the Sonic the Fighters models were basically added into this game as like little toys that you could collect. And that feature was once again brought back in the sequel of the game. And if you look right here, you can get a bunch of different toys such as Super Sonic, Metal Sonic. But it's interesting because all these character models were based off of Sonic the Fighters. You had characters like Fang, Espio, Amy, Bark, Bean. But also there was one more cameo in the Moonchild Orphanage. There was a creepy little drawing that resembles Sonic and Tails seen hanging up on the wall. So that's like an extra little cameo. In addition to the little toys that had returned from the first game. But let's move on to the next one. The next game on the list is Virtua Quest, which was a spin-off of the Virtua Fighter series. While it's still a fighting game, it's mostly an RPG. So it's very different than the original Virtua Fighter series. On the Twin Axis server, there is a golden statue of none other than Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's funny enough, even though it's a golden statue, Bit will say the statue has a secret and after hitting a sequence of buttons, the statue will become supersonic and drop a hunter's badge. So a pretty cool detail and a neat cameo, but let's move on to the next game. The next game on the list was called Feel the Magic and it was developed by Sonic Team. It was basically like a random collection of mini games. In my opinion, it's something like very similar to the WarioWare series, which is just like extremely odd, but honestly it had some bangers low key. But that's what the game was, basically just play a bunch of random disjointed mini games and what almost feels like a tech demo maybe for like what the Nintendo DS could do at the time. So I said this earlier, but this might actually be one of the craziest cameos. Not the cameo itself, but the way you activate it. Let me explain. If you start the game with either Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 3, Pinball Party, or Sonic Battle in the GBA slot, you can unlock a Sonic hat or a Chow hat for the game's female protagonist. This is what the hat would have looked like, but if you don't own those games, don't worry. You can still get the hat by clearing Hell Mode, which is the hardest difficulty setting. All you have to do is make it through Hell. Every day feels like Hell. But let's move on to the next one. The next game on the list is Asterix and Obelix XXL2 Mission Las Vegas. Now, the first thing you'll notice on the game is one of the covers features several video game spoofs, one of which being Pac-Man. You see Super Mario from Super Mario Sunshine, as well as on the bottom, you see Sonic. This was an action adventure game made by Atari in 2005, and there are several video game spoofs throughout. As you can see right here, the characters are throwing what looks to be Super Mario from Super Mario Sunshine. Also, if you look at the walls, it looks very similar to Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64. And if you look over here, there's also a Sonic Spring, so that's pretty interesting, but also there is a direct reference to Sonic as well. One of the faction of Roman warriors wears blue headgear that resembles Sonic's quills, along with the trademark red shoes, and they carry gold rings as well. There's no doubt in my mind that that is a direct reference to the Sonic series, so let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game is OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. In this game, you will notice in the casino stage that there are statues of Sonic throughout, and also, like many other Sega games, you will notice that Sonic is featured throughout several billboards throughout the map. It's one of the more subtle ones, and if you're not looking hard enough, you might miss it, but let's move on to the next game. The next game where Sonic has a cameo in is Fantasy Star Universe. Now, this is a game that I used to play back in the day, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was an MMORPG developed by Sonic Team, and they had an event in the game for Sonic's birthday. The game had statues of several different Sonic characters using their Sonic Heroes models, and the funny thing is, in some of the missions, Sonic and friends would actually accompany you. This game did get a lot of hate back in the day, but I definitely enjoyed it, because I'm a big fan of MMORPGs, but let's move on to the next game. Game. Next game where Sonic appears in is actually the Simpsons game. Now, this one is a uh, pretty direct and not so subtle reference after all. They just straight up parody Sonic. In one of the worlds in this game, Sonic appears and he's like a washed up, has been shell of himself. And he has several voice lines as well. In this scene right here, you will see where he is trapped. He's basically running on a hamster wheel by himself and he looks kind of depressed. And you'll hear him say several different voice lines. Let's roll the clip. I used to be so 
fast. I forget why I hated Eggman so much. Oh, I can't spin anymore. My back. People don't remember, but the 90s were great. That shadow version of me? Nicest guy in the world. Misunderstood. Towards the end of the game, when you're freeing all the video game characters, there's a little cutscene at the end, and you'll see Mario as well as Sonic. Only for a very brief second, but look at that Sonic and Mario. They look absolutely pathetic, but let's move on to the next game. Next game on the list is Sega Splash Golf. This was a game that was released in 2008 for PC, and it's an online golf game from Sega. Pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? Sega Golf, the game where they play basketball. In this game, Sonic and Tails both have cameos where they star as characters. Caddies. You might catch Sonic dancing in this game when you hit a birdie. Wow, look at him go, man. He's actually killing it right now. He's cooking. But the game was essentially an online MMO golf game, though, which is pretty unique. There was a Green Hill course in the game, and there was even clubs modeled after Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Dr. Eggman. But let's move on to the next game. Next cameo on the list is Samba de Amigo, which actually is not that obscure, because recently a Samba de Amigo game came out, and they have a Sonic outfit, as well as Sonic songs, Sonic levels, and even Sonic himself. Wow, what a surprise. But that's why this isn't that obscure, but this version of this game actually came out in 2008 for the Nintendo Wii. But this game was also developed by Sonic Team, so obviously there's no surprise that Sonic was featured in it. In the career mode, once you unlock hard mode, you will unlock Sonic's Challenge, which features a couple different songs, and they take place in Green Hill Zone with Sonic dancing alongside Amigo. The Chow also appear in multiple other levels in the game. And overall, it's a pretty interesting cameo, but again, not that obscure. Most people actually know about this, so let's move on to the next one. Another game where Sonic appears in, and this one's pretty crazy, is The Incredible Hulk, which came out in 2008 and it was a 3d platform adventure game based off of the movie since the game is copyrighted by sega if a player jumps to a random building they can view a special billboard and what does this billboard feature yes of course it is sonic with some sonic channel artwork and artwork from sonic and the secret rings although it's pretty blurry in this screenshot never thought i'd see a sonic and hulk crossover but hey listen you might have learned something new today so let's move on to the next one the next non-sonic game that sonic appeared in is little big planet now little big planet is a puzzle platformer video game which is centered around user generated rated content. This game was super popular way back in the day for PlayStation. I remember seeing this game back in the day and it just looks so cool and I really wanted it. There are so many add-on skins that players can use to customize Sackboy in the game who is like the main protagonist. And in 2009, five skins from the Sonic series were made available for download. Five skins that were available were Sonic, Sonic the Werehog, Knuckles, Tails, and Dr. Eggman. This game was like Roblox before Roblox it looks like. And I gotta say that Dr. Eggman skin is looking kind of strange to say the least. Honestly all of them are. But that is Little Big Planet. Some of you may or may not know about this. I don't think it's as obscure. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game on this list is called Reset Generation. Reset Generation was an action puzzle game developed by Red Links and published by Nokia in 2008. For those of you who don't know what a Nokia is, Nokia was a phone company that rose to prominence back in the early 2000s, and they were known for their innovative phones. They basically had, like, the original smartphones back in the day. I'm dead serious. And they even dabbled into video games as well. Back in the day, they had a Sonic Advance port called Sonic N gauge for the Nokia N-Gage, so they're no stranger to working with Sonic, but this game is a little different. All the 10 playable characters in this game are parodies of characters from popular video games such as Mario, and if you look at Sonic right here, oh my god, this has to be the most cursed image I've ever seen, clearly a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog. So that is Reset Generation, so let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game on the list is Taiko na Tatsujin, I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's a series of rhythm games created by Namco. There isn't much footage going around, but this game originally released in 2008, and one of the games is set in Splash Hill Zone with Sonic, Dr. Eggman, some motobugs, as well as some other badniks. So that's a pretty interesting cameo, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next game on the list is r tuned Ultimate Street Racing, which was available for arcade back in 2008. This was an illegal street racing game developed by Sega AM2, and the cars in the game can be customized, as you see right here. Some of the cars in the game featured Sonic artwork and Sonic paint jobs, so it's a pretty subtle reference. You have Sonic, but you also have the Edgelord himself, Shadow the Hedgehog. So we got Sonic and Shadow on the car, it's always good to see these two going head to head. You know what I mean? Can't wait for movie three. We'll see what happens with that. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game on the list is Hatsune Miku Project Diva, which was released in 2009 for the PlayStation Portable. This is yet another music and rhythm game developed by Sega. And you know what? Sonic is their signature IP mascot, so they got to slap him on everything because he also has a very brief appearance in this game as well. Although not in the way that you think. In the Miku's Room feature of the game, one of the obtainable items is a Mega Drive containing the cartridge of the original Sonic the Hedgehog so they had to throw some nostalgia pandering bait to give a nice little nod to the Sonic fans. Am I right, Sega? I mean, yeah, that's what we gotta do.